Hi, it's Corrine with the Wild Orchid Crafts Design Team, and I have some fun Valentine projects to share with you. I have a start to finish on all three of these boxes that I will play. These two here are silhouette cuts, and I'll be sure to link the design numbers that I used in the description box below, along with all the products that I use from Wild Orchid Crafts. This one here is a, um, it has a little shaker to it with some sequins in it, and it's a little cookie box. So when you open it, you place your cookie inside. I have those little clear plastic bags from the dollar store, so I will just seal a cookie in one of those and place it in this. I use some beautiful open roses in a heart shape, and again, the sequins in the middle. This one here, I use some beautiful cartabella paper and some of this um, ribbon from Wild Orchid Crafts. It's knitting lace with baby pink edging on it, and I added some vintage seam binding for the little handles. I did the back as well. This one here is I did by hand, and in case you don't own a Silhouette or Cricut machine and you want to make one by, by hand, I show you how to do that. So as you can see, it is done out of craft paper. Again, some Cartabella paper. I did the back as well. I added some cute little die cuts on here in a little frame and some of these open roses and a little bit of tool to both of these bags. So enjoy the start to finish on these and if you have any questions please leave me a comment and stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. Thanks for watching.
So for this tiny little bag here, we're going to get a piece of paper that is eight by 11, and all those pen marks you see there are going to be our score marks that we're going to be putting in this. So get out your scoreboard, put your paper in on the 11 inch side, and we're going to score it at four and a half inches and six and a half inches. Again, that's four and a half and six and a half. Turn it 90 degrees to the eight inch side, score it at one inches, two inches, six inches, seven inches. Turn it back to the 11 inch side and score up to that second score mark at five and a half inches. Do that on both sides. So again, we're scoring at five and a half up to that second score mark, not going over it. And now we're going to cut out those tabs. You'll have three score marks going that way. You don't want to cut the middle one. You want to cut the left and the right one, and you're cutting out a little triangle that'll alleviate some bulk when you fold this. And that's what it'll look like once it's done. So now go ahead and fold along all your score marks, making sure you have a good crease. You can also, at this time before gluing your box together, take a decorative edge punch to the left and the right side of your box, or you can also place holes for a handle if you wanted to as well, but I'm not doing either. I want my bag just straight across. So I'm adding my wet glue to both tabs. I'm making sure to get all over so I get, make sure it is adhered down well. And I'm just tucking those inside of my bag and making sure it's lined up, pressing it down. You wanna make sure it's pressed down very well. And now as you can see, you still have two tabs left to adhere your bag together. So do the exact same thing, add your glue to the entire tab, making sure you get the corners as well so it looks good and it's glued once you're all done. And now I'm just simply tucking those inside, making sure my sides line up and pressing it down. I'm also using my bone folder to, to reach inside there and make sure it's pressed down very well. And now what you don't see is off camera, I let it dry for about five minutes before I pressed in on those score marks on the side. So I'm just lightly pressing in on those score marks and that gives me my bag. And like I said, you could have added handles if you wanted to or a decorative um, punch to the top of it. So I'll let you finish watching the embellishment. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching.